Hi, this is Charles Castronovo. Welcome to another edition of The Singer's Insight, coming to you from London, England. Today, I come to you from the beautiful Royal Opera House, London, where I'm singing in a production of La Traviata. Today, I'm going to be speaking with two of my great colleagues from this production, Nora Amsalem and Marius Kvishen. So, join me as we go behind the scenes to chat with my two colleagues and try to get some real singers inside. Now, we just finished a performance of La Traviata. As you can see, Nora right. Amsalem, she's not dead, she's actually alive still. And here she is, she had a great performance. We did a good show, it was a good audience, and we're here now. Nora, you sang Violetta many, many times, right? So right. it's the role you do right. all the time. How do you keep it like kind of like fresh and new? I mean, is it is it a challenge? I actually work every day to well, every time I do this to keep it fresh and from moment to moment, right. just to keep it in you, because right. otherwise, if you do just if you phone it in or if you're like right. you know, okay, today I'm going to do La Traviata. <laughs> let me take La Traviata suitcase down mm -hmm. or <laughs> Mimi suitcase out and right. do the stock stuff it's just not um, touching for the public because you're just falling in a performance emotionally as much as probably not vocally but emotionally anyway. yeah so i try to keep it and to read to refresh it by just living the moment right and keeping it new every moment now you have family you have a little baby yeah. boy now congratulations that's great thank you how have you found it um you know, adjusting now. Everything's obviously different now. Yeah. And you know, as far as I mean, everything <laughs> right. from practicing to getting enough sleep to right. you know to traveling. So sure. you know, how's it been for you? Well, it's just a miracle of life, yeah. I have to say, and it's the best thing ever. But it changes everything in one life, of course, because everything is focused on the baby, and everything yeah. you do is for the baby. Yeah. Sure, know, yeah. Even singing and working now is for the baby <laughs> yeah. to make his life better. Exactly. So um, yeah, it changes. You know, a lot of things change. Can't sleep till noon anymore, which is uh, the yeah. hardest thing to adjust for me. Yeah. That's but tough. Um, it's you know my parents are available and they come oh, to right. follow me a lot to help with the baby because uh, without help. If my husband's not there, it's impossible right. for me to oh, sing yeah. and you know take care of the baby and all that. You and can't all. do it all at the same so time. So we have to have a big support group traveling along. Yeah. But if you couldn't sing tomorrow, it doesn't have to be um, that something bad happened to you. If you didn't sing, let's right. say, for example, starting tomorrow, is there something else that you would go after in life, different interests that you could pursue, you know, that would make you happy? Right. I would have loved to do something in the medical field, ah, okay. but um, I think I would have had a lot of trouble with that yeah. because I faint when I see blood, oh, no. so that <laughs> so would have be get... exactly, or I would have to really work on it, but <laughs> yeah, I would have loved to do something in science or medical, yeah. oh, that's really like interesting. That. So, okay, then tell me then, what do you have coming up and, you know, anything okay. exciting that you're happy about uh, that you want to tell people? Um, I'm doing Traviata in Munich, oh. then my first Puritani in oh, Seattle. Oh, that's with Mariusz, we were talking right. about it earlier. That's right, exactly. Yeah. And then I'm doing uh, Turandot in Naples, mm -hmm. and then some concerts in the United States, great. and Pearl Fishers with you. Yes, we're doing Pearl Fishers together. That's in great. Washington. Yeah, so great. So you're really, again, bouncing around and everything. Right, right, And right. the baby will go with you, obviously, and yes. most of the time, yes, right? Yes, except for concerts. If I leave oh, okay. for five days, I'm not taking the baby yeah. across the ocean. I think it's more <laughs> work no. to do that than, you know, <laughs> than just go and come back. Exactly. Okay, exactly. well, listen, I want to say that it's always like, Big pleasure to sing with Me you. Too. You're beautiful. It's great. It's great. And uh, we had a really good time. So yeah. soon we'll uh, see you again from Washington and we'll talk again about other stuff, I guess. And that's okay. it. That's Nora. Okay. Bye. Inside today I'm with my great colleague Mariusz Kvishen. We're in the middle of a performance of La Traviata at the Royal Opera Covent Garden. Uh, so today we're going to talk to Mariusz a little bit and we're just going to you know, ask him a few questions and see what he's like. So Mariusz, this is your first Verdi role, right? Is that true? Yeah, that's true. That's okay. true. And I'm so, scared like Yeah, you're scared. <laughs> yes. But you're doing great. Everything, the audience seems to like it a lot. I mean, how do you feel about it? I mean, did you, did you prepare a certain way for it? Or what is it mentally that you feel? Well, I think that this is a really difficult role. It's yeah. very high. It's very lyric. I have to play an older character. I have to play your father. Yes. Yes, which is very difficult. <laughs> I, had a, 
I have a shave in there. I know, I know. I have white hair, yes. Well, but I, I like it and I think that in the future it will be uh, the repertoire in 10, 15 years, which yeah. I will really sing, basically yeah. sing. This will be your bread and butter. Yeah, I think, I think there's a very full lyric repertoire, yeah. so I'm, I'm really looking forward. But right now I'm preparing myself. Right. It's my it's first amazing. time, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this, what is, what is happening now, so, so yeah. Yeah, well that's great. I, any better. Any like superstitions that go along with uh, any time you perform, but especially when you, you know what? I don't school. have any stupid superstitions. But for example, when I sing a good show, yeah. and for example, I have a tea or yeah. a sandwich. So for next show, uh -huh. I buy exactly the same thing <laughs> exactly. to get exactly the same good show. So it's like wearing the same socks, the same dirty yeah, socks. Yeah, 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 <laughs> kind of, kind of. So you're you're from Poland. What city are you from? Uh, I'm from Krakow. Oh, from Krakow. From okay. Krakow. It's a beautiful city, very yeah. old. Yeah. Uh, almost 1,000 years old. Oh, that's great. A lot it's, of history. Yeah. yeah, lots of history. And uh, I just love my city. My whole family is there. You have to come there. You, oh, you are please. invited. <laughs> okay. You must see it. It's, it's beautiful. It's fully renovated. And it's lots of great food, lots of beautiful people, yeah. lots of flowers, restaurants, of music, clubs, also, too. music, yes, everything. We are building right now a new opera house. Oh, so, great. so hopefully we can perform together. Yeah, there. I would, Krakow, I would yeah. love to go. That would be yeah. incredible. Okay, listen, I want to ask you a question that I like to ask all my colleagues because it's just interesting. Yeah. As a question, of course, I don't mean this negatively at all, not uh -huh. wood, uh -huh. but if you could not sing tomorrow, mm -hmm. what would be the thing? that you would want to pursue if you could not sing. Uh, but, and I stopped singing, yes? I'm talking about no singing. That's it. I'm not saying no yeah. music, I'm saying well, no singing. What, what other thing would you like to pursue? What is Well, I, I do some photography. I, yeah. I design some furniture so I could do this. But you know what? I think I could find something else, something main and more interesting than only making pictures and, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, making projects of, of new furniture. I think I could find, I, I could be a manager. I could oh, be a manager of yeah. young, young singers from Poland especially, because uh -huh. we don't have so many of, of, yeah. of, of good people who really take care of young singers. And there's a lot of talent, of course, yes, there's there, a lot they of, need some yeah, direction. Yeah, yeah, many, many, many people. Uh, so it, it could be it, you know. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's very hard to say because yeah, of I, course. you know, I I still want to sing at least for the next twenty years. So, yes, so. God willing, of course. But maybe, 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 maybe agency because I'm still young and I can still travel, yeah. fight for money and for, <laughs> exactly. for good contracts. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I always like to ask this question. Of course, I don't mean it in a negative way, but it's interesting to find out what other what people are thinking if they didn't do or let's say if their life went a different path mm -hmm. what would you you know what was the other idea what was the other thing you know it depends you know? also what kind of problem i i, I could i i i uh, i would have with my singing well, God, for God, example God, if, I'm, if i'm disabled or something yeah. is a different thing you know sure, sure. <laughs> but when i just lose my voice and i'm yeah. physically strong yeah i could do many things okay, well. basically everything well, okay, so great. Listen, I want to ask also, also, what's coming up for you? What's going on? Anything exciting for you that you're quite excited about? Or um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, projects? I have, I have very nice projects uh, in the, the end of this season. I'm going to the Met singing, singing Lucia di Lammermoor again. Great. His last three shows, and um, then I have, uh, I fly to Chicago, lyric opera to sing Anjegin, and oh, then it's uh, a beautiful role, yes. And then I, I, I will do for the first time in my life uh, Ipuritani oh, in okay. Seattle. And right after that, I go back to, to Santa Fe Festival oh, to oh, do so Marriage of yeah. Figaro. Yeah, oh, yeah. and you've done this role many times, yeah. so you'll be nice to Oh, Marriage of Figaro is one of my favorite roles. Yeah. yeah. And then I come back here to, to Covent Garden to, oh. to do Don Giovanni. Oh, okay. So you're really. Going going full it's, not, it's not it's exactly one area. Fight, you know, you're really bouncing you back. Fight. You know it the best. Yeah. You, know? you know it. You, yeah. you, we travel all the time. Yeah. Well, we like it, we dislike it uh, after 14 years of traveling. I would say, well, I would love to have, uh, like, from time to time, one month or two months off yeah. just to stay in one place to have fun. But then in two weeks in Poland, I get bored exactly. immediately. <laughs> and I think, oh, where could I go? Uh -huh. I want to spend time not even singing, but, you know, going somewhere for fishing or, or, <laughs> or making some pictures or just to see new places. Yeah, I think um, this is the disease of every singer, you know. Yeah. They say they want to relax, but as soon as it's two or three weeks, they start getting itchy and it's like, okay, I'm ready for yeah. the next thing. So that's why I say that this job is very sexy. Because yeah. you always change, you change, you change, you have new conditions, you have new people around you, and you always have to be 
uh, showing yourself in the best in the best light, you know, yeah, in absolutely. the best the best position. I don't know how to how to, how to say yeah, you understand. Yeah, I understand you perfectly. So you always have to be like meeting your girlfriend <laughs> for the first time. Uh, yeah? exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's Marius, everyone. Hope you really enjoyed this uh, little episode that we have here, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah, Ooh. thank you. So, thanks again for joining me for this edition of The Singer's Insight, coming from the Royal Opera Covent Garden. Hope to see you next time somewhere out there in the world. Take care.